Happy Cinco de Mayo! We're going to show you two great, amazing things for this holiday. Um, we're going to do an appetizer, a taco appetizer. That's great for poly, uh, parties, any holidays, things like that. We're also going to make a tissue paper flowers that you can decorate your whole house with. So, first off, let's show the ingredients that we need. For our tacos, we're going to need scoops, chips. Good. You can use any type of meat that you want, that you like in your tacos, but we're going to use ground turkey today. Ooh, careful. <laughs> Taco seasoning. A platter, or a big plate. Yeah. All your favorite toppings. So we're going to do, for us, we're going to do cilantro, onions, we're going to have some shredded cheese, some shredded lettuce, and of course, avocado. Yummy. Yeah. For our tissue paper, we're going to need scissors with parental help. Okay. Some string or yarn, and then any color tissue papers that you want. We're going to use all different colors. Yeah, we're going to use all different colors. So first things first, we're going to start on our tacos, and we need to wash our hands. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Let's go. Now it's time to cook our meat, and we're going to turn our oven to six or seven. I mean, to seven and eight, or whichever. Done. Don't forget to ask for parental guidance when you're turning on the oven for the stove. Okay. Is that good for you, Aaliyah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, Aaliyah is going to chop up our meat. Now, Aaliyah has chopped up our ground turkey and it looks amazing. Now we need to pour in the taco seasoning. Now each packet is a little different, so you wanna follow the directions on the back of your specific packet. But, um, so go ahead, pour that in, Aaliyah. You wanna kinda of get it everywhere because you gotta mix it in. Good. Now you want to pour on the water. Good, and you want to mix it all up, all together. Good, so that there's no more dry seasoning. You want to mix it all up. Good job. Oh, perfect, yeah. Okay, so we'll mix in and get the sides, good. Okay, once that's all mixed in, you're gonna turn your stove to simmer. Mine is low. Turn the other way. There you go, too low. Good, and we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. Good job. Now it's time to make the flowers. Good. So what Aaliyah has done is she has picked out um, three different colors, but you need six tissue paper in total. And what she's doing right now is getting them on one side all to the edge. Want me to help you? Yes. Okay. So we want them to all get squared up. Okay. Into the edge. Line it up. Good. Now it's okay if your tissue paper is a little bit of a different size. That's not going to make a huge, huge, huge difference. There we go. Ah, I'm sorry. It's okay. Got it? Now, we're going to start 
folding our tissue paper about an inch. You want me to start it for you? Yes. Okay. So she's lined them all up on one side, so it's all even on one side, and she's going to fold it. I'm going to start it for her, but she's going to fold it about an inch or so wide. Good. Now you can fold it under or flip it around. So you hold this tight, flip it around, and fold back the other way to where it's nice and even. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it around for you again. Good, now you try, folding it. Good. A little more, see how it folds right here? There you go, you can feel it. Good, so kind of like when you're making a fan or an accordion, you wanna fold over then under, over then under, over then under. I'm just gonna help you out here. Okay, put that side down. I got this side. Yeah, okay, flip it around. Good, can you feel it underneath? That goes to the edge. Good. The goal is to try and make it as straight as you possibly can, but if it goes a little crooked, that's okay. You can help reshape it when you're done. Good. Good job, Aaliyah. Yeah, you got it. And you can do one more fold. Good. Want me to do the last part? Now because we use different sizes, you can kind of see how this makes a fan. Okay, now we're gonna take our tissue paper, or I'm sorry, we're gonna take our string. Okay, I'm gonna help her since this is tiny string. You can use ribbon or yarn or whatever you'd like, but you're gonna tie in the middle. Not too, too tight, you don't want to break it, but you want it to be able to hold it all together so it doesn't go anywhere. Always double knot. If you need someone to help you double knot, don't be afraid to ask. Okay, can you cut me? Right here, in between. Perfect, good. So now we're gonna fold it in half. Get a nice, nice crease. Make sure it's nice, even. Now you're gonna start pulling up very carefully the edges in towards the middle. So do your orange one first. You're gonna peel back, or peel each layer. Good, you got it. Remember you wanna be gentle since it is tissue paper. Nicely done. you had in the middle and just kind of shape it 
actually a flower. Until it makes a flower. Some people tape the edges. You can do that if you'd like to. You don't have to. You can string them up. There we go. Not bad, Aaliyah. Looks good. All right. Now we got these. So now Aaliyah has prepped her plate full of chips. She picked out the best ones that aren't broken. So now she's gonna fill it with her taco meat. So each one gets a little, little scoop of meat. Make sure you leave room for toppings. There you go. <laughs> Toppings. So you can add whatever toppings you like on tacos. Just sprinkle Now it's time to taste test. Good. Let's see. I want one with avocado. Okay. Ready? Mmm. Oh. <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoy your Cinco de Mayo. I hope you had fun making some crafts with us and making some delicious snacks with us. And we'll see you guys next week.